some rishi. The word rishi means seer, someone who could see, or let's say see through, saw that all the cells in our body understand reverberations, while the cells around our navel or around our chest or in the throat may not be able to hear these three sounds, so we our ears hear, but they are able to catch the reverberation and resonate along with that. These reverberations are very powerful, very healing, and very calm. At a time when all of us are having so much of survival anxiety, that the mind becomes a very small organ to deal with it, because we are feeling survival anxiety in all our cells. The chanting of Om helps all our cells calm down and reverberate with this eternal healing vibrations. Together, we will chant the, these three sounds, Om, starting from the navel, upwards into the chest and then into the throat. In all the three vowels, see how your energy moves upwards and keep breathing out into the sun. When we do pranayama, we actually take over voluntary control of breathing, which is otherwise an involuntary process. It's wonderful, you see. If all of us were sitting in the same room right now, all of us would be breathing in the same air. But in a matter of seconds or minutes, as soon as this air becomes a part of our lungs and we take in the oxygen, and our blood starts flowing further from it. Imagine that blood, which is now full of oxygen, pumped through the heart, going through the arteries, within the body, to reach some cell, to meet the needs of some cell. At this point, if I draw out this blood and do a testing, it will have your DNA. In a matter of minutes, the air outside has become your oxygen. It has the imprint, the blood has the imprint of your DNA. In a matter of seconds, such a miracle, such a transformation has happened that the air outside has now become a part of the oxygen in your blood. As this blood travels further, let's say there are some cells in our knee that require some rejuvenation. Another exchange happens there where our blood supplies this oxygen to these cells and the cells in turn release into the blood whatever is their excretion. Let's say the carbon dioxide, the cellular waste, everything is released into the blood. So in such a short span, air became our blood and our blood with the oxygen became life force. When we say that we are doing pranayama, what are we actually doing? Unlike what a lot of us understand, it's not just the breathing on the outside. The inhale and the exhale is the outer part of pranayama. But what happens is actually the inner breathing. Every time in the gaps between our inhale and exhale, there is this supply of oxygen to various parts of our body. Actually, this oxygen is getting transformed into prana or our life force. This life force governs, runs through each cell. It helps us from walking to me talking right now, to us digesting, to everything. We are an abundant source of life force. There is a lot of life that is continuously happening within us. With this thought, 
And yesterday, we do some holding of our breath. Initially, we do it with both nostrils. We breathe in for four counts, we hold for four counts, and we breathe out for four counts. Both when you are breathing in and you are breathing out, you will see that you will have to control your lung muscle to ensure that the speed at which your breath is coming out or going in is equal. Very gradually you squeeze your lung muscle and you again inflate the lung muscle and then you hold it. When we are able to squeeze our tummy in and hold, we are able to feel. Some of you will be able to feel your heartbeat uh, or the basic rhythm of your body throughout your body. When we hold out our breath and we wait, that's the pause that we take between any two things. In the way that we have lived life now and the way we are all knowing we are all going to be overstimulated, we finish one activity and then we go into the next and we go into the next and we go into the next. Between the closure of one activity and the starting of another is a pause. That pause is a pause of rejuvenation, time for life to get recreated or our life energies, our pran, our creative energies, our imagination to get reignited. We breathe out and we hold and the whole stilling experience that it creates in us. It's a reminder that every once in a while, probably every couple of hours in the day, we need to learn to still ourselves.